I've got even more record players now. I don't know what to do with them all. I think you've seen these two jockeys I've got. There's a little down set there which is uh, ready to be restored. I've got that one there which I've just bought. I've also got this here which is a Colara. I don't know what this is actually. It's, um, oh, it's an EAR Bantam reproducer. This is from the 50s this one. So um, it's got a Colaro deck in it. Uh, let's have a look at what else we've got. Come on Barney, you go through there. Go on, off you go. I've just been stripping down this one here. As you can see, this is a Danset Major Deluxe. I've got this one nearly ready to go. There's a, a nice Danset Bermuda there, as you can see. I've just got the little bits to go on the front of the knobs there. But this one, this was uh, covered in, obviously, this green uh, rec scene. And all around the sides, it, it lost its pattern. It's got some sort of pattern on it, as you can see. It looked very bland, so what I've decided to do with this one is to actually recover it. As you can see, I've um, stripped off all the green rexine on this. What I was planning to do was to leave the cream-coloured rexine in place to give it some sort of originality. But I'm not too sure whether or not the, uh, the rexine would be shown up by the state of this if I put new Rexine on this so the chances are I'm going to probably recover the whole lot anyway but you can see how they used to do the seams many years ago I think there's so many different ways I think people must have had their own way of doing things this one for example has got a big overlap there as you can see underneath the side panel and they've just uh, papered over it this one here with the lid the lid is in obviously one panel and then they filled the sides in but so many people have so many different ways of doing things. I would imagine at the factory that um, people, as I say, just develop their own ways of doing things. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a go. No, I mean, look how crude they was. I mean, there's the front cover in there. It's just cut off at any old angle there. There's no precision measuring here. These were all done by hand by people who were doing these day in, day out, and they just sort of rough cut them off. And uh, basically, this is how they were really put together. So. But most of this old rexing I've taken off, I mean a lot of it is still okay and it's probably unobtainable now so things like that it's worth putting in a little roll there like that and just keeping that in case you do get one with uh, a little bit of damage on which just requires a patch or a segment put in. So yeah always worthwhile keeping that. So basically in reality here a lot of these tend to miss this colour on the lids for example. Now one of the reasons is for that is that you get the light obviously it's the top of these and as a result of that the UV damages the surface and the glue underneath which I don't know if you can actually see there it's still got the residue of some glue on here but this just I think it used to be the old cow glue and um, that sometimes bleeds through so if you get some of these lids which you've actually cleaned I mean I've actually cleaned this lid for, for example with a uh, a cleaning solution but on this one it's okay but on other ones especially the lighter colored rexing you can see like a staining effect come through and that really is the glue underneath deteriorating and there's no real way over that so you either have to put up with it as just part and parcel of uh, what the unit is or you actually have to recover them so I mean this stuff comes up pretty easy but sometimes that can be a bit hard and what I normally do is I put a, a, a hot water on it first to just soften things up because this glue underneath will soften up with uh, hot water or even maybe even a steam attachment on uh, a steam cleaner for example I've actually used one of them before so I mean initially as I say all you've got to do basically is just get all the old Rexine off and after you've done that and then give it a sand down to because this will still be covered with old glue so then give it a good sand down but as you can see, I've not actually wet this one down, so this is actually coming off dry. Normally a little bit of a nuisance to start off, but uh, you get a blade under a corner, for example. And you can normally get a, an edge up and 
bring it. Back. Comes up pretty good. Right, so there we go. That's all the green Rexine off of this one. Uh, still got the cream stuff on there, but um, looking at it, I think I'm going to need to actually strip this off as well. So, I think if I, because I've got red, some nice red or blue Rexine, which I may do this in, I'm not gonna keep it green because I haven't got any green, so um, I'm gonna actually remove this I suppose what I could do I could spray it maybe I don't know what that will look like if it was sprayed so I'm not going to bother with that I don't think but as you can see here for example look I mean look at this lid for example here this whole unit isn't done in one piece I mean for example this lid here they've just cut around and put a little segment in there like that the front panel looks like it's all in one piece there as you can see underneath there look so this varies I've seen things that I've seen different down sets for example done different ways so they obviously all had their own independent ways of uh, doing uh, their recovering this one's got a seam here for example look I've just picked that up I mean I've just lifted that up now because this I washed all this down beforehand and that glue now is, as I say, is sticky, so technically speaking, I mean, I can feel it sticking on my fingers like that. So if I was to uh, wet all this down, definitely with a steam cleaner, this would come off very, very easily, but um, it's got to be sanded down anyway, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So I'm going to take this off, I've made my mind up. Right, here we go, they're totally stripped. With some of these stubborn bits that was on there, I had to get the uh, water on it just to soften off the, uh, the glue underneath, so I just went over it with a sponge. And also what I did as well, to take all the residual glue off of here, I dabbed that down, as I say, with a sponge, uh, let it soak in for a couple of minutes, and then just took a blade, and then just drew the blade across the whole length of the uh, raffle plow on all sides, and top and bottom, obviously and that removes all the gunky glue that's sticky on there because when you touch these the glue is obviously all very sticky still so that's what I did there and I've got to obviously just give it an initial sand down but I've just brought them out here just to dry off basically so um, they'll be ready to go I'm going to go with the two tone I'm going to go probably blue and uh, a cream at the front or maybe a red and cream at the front I'm not too sure yet um, we've got lines to work to. What they have actually done here, as you can probably see, there is um, a line already carved in to the actual unit. And also on the head as well. So obviously there's the line to go to for the, uh, the white or creamy colour stuff at the front there. So that will be on there obviously. And everything lines up. And 
Let's have a go at recovering it. I say what I'll do, I'll sand all that down first, as I said. And I'm going to leave this now, it's dinner time now. Uh, Sharon's just got home, I'm going to make her a bit of dinner, so I'll do that. Uh, might have a look at some lawn mowers this afternoon, or maybe I might even pull the uh, Piaggio Vesper out and have a look at that. So stick with us, see you again shortly. <laughs>